Domestic pigs belong to the hoofed animals that you wouldn't really expect to perform feats in battle, right? Similarly, this bear thought that he found an easy prey, but was gravely mistaken. When the predator entered the pig's enclosure, it fiercely resisted, ramming, hitting, enduring the onslaught of the long claws and fierce jaws of the predator. Then a second pig entered the enclosure. Instead of panicking, it stood up for its fellow pig. The bear, unprepared for such a powerful attack, panicked and fled. Today we'll show you other cool cases where various hoofed animals prove they won't become an easy target for enemies. Hyena-like dogs leverage their numerical advantage to attack a saber-horned antelope. Despite the dogs not being exceptionally large or strong, they are intelligent, brave, fast, and capable of surrounding and overwhelming even a much larger opponent. However, this time they underestimated the hoofed animal they were dealing with. Unlike most other herbivores, the saber-horned antelope doesn't run from danger. Instead, it charges directly at the threat to brutally strike with its horns or knock the predators down. The tactic of surrounding the antelope failed, primarily because the antelope is in the water. It can retreat deeper at any moment, continuing its defense by standing on the bottom where the dogs would have to swim. In this position, the predators couldn't successfully attack such a powerful animal without a solid surface for a jump. Additionally, the antelope has excellent defense. If surrounded, it can fend off an attacker from the front with its hooves and uses its horns to strike predators jumping on its back. Sharp tips are guaranteed to penetrate the dog's skin and definitely turn it into a sieve. When the antelope counterattacks and demonstrates its determination, the predators realize it's futile to fight at such a beast. They begin to simply ignore the antelope, allowing the herbivore to stand calmly against the pack of dogs that could pose serious problems even for a seasoned lion. Apart from strength, speed, and auxiliary weapons like horns and hooves, Herbivores have another weapon, the ability not to give up and to seize any possible chance for survival. Two such cases were captured on camera when cheetahs caught different antelopes. The fastest predators on the planet chased, caught, and brought down the herbivores, surrounding them and preparing to finish them off. However, in both cases, a hyena appeared at the very last moment. It's not cooperation or a sudden burst of unexpected love from the scavenger towards the herbivore. The hyena simply wants to snatch the prey from the cheetahs. It aggressively attacks, but lacks patience. The cats didn't finish off the prey. Although the hyena, in both cases, sinks its terrifying teeth into the antelope's body, the herbivore takes advantage of the cheetahs, retreating from the formidable enemy. The antelope manages to stand up, overcoming the resistance of the massive hyena. And if necessary, the herbivore can even resist, drive it away, and then escape from the stunned cheetahs, too tired to start the chase once again. The hyena attacked the antelope suddenly and unexpectedly, managing to grab its neck, bite painfully, and injure the herbivore. But the hyena didn't know what it was dealing with. The antelope quickly threw off the enemy, a movement too fast for the camera to capture. The hyena is in shock, trying to resume the attack and pounce on the opponent again, but the brave antelope continues its fight, fending off the predator. Then the herbivore goes on the counterattack. Pretty impressive, isn't it? The hyena finally realizes it made the wrong choice of prey. Now, in fear, it retreats. Without overwhelming numerical advantage, the hyena has to dodge and run away from the enraged herbivore. A lioness attacked the antelope with long, sharp horns, 
thinking she could pounce on the prey from behind and thus avoid a counterattack. The horns cover the neck from above and prevent attacking the throat. So the lioness wanted to immobilize the prey first and secure the hind legs of the herbivore. The lioness was wrong, thinking the main weapon of the enemy would not reach her. The predatory cat didn't expect such a barrage of strikes. The enraged antelope wasted no time trying to break free from the predator's claws. Instead, the herbivore delivered lightning-fast strikes from one side and then the other. The sharp tips of its horns hit various sensitive points all over the lioness's body, causing not only pain, but also preventing her from grabbing the back or injuring the hind legs of the herbivore. The fierce resistance took the predator by surprise, and she retreated. The antelope cleverly uses the opportunity and pressed against the long, tall shrub to protect its rear. The most astonishing part is that the calm and self-assured herbivore continued its meal. The antelope calmly observed the lioness, ready to deploy its horns again, even continuing to pluck leaves from the branches. Such composure is pretty admirable, isn't it? The lioness is disheartened. She just didn't expect such a disregard. It seems the antelope just swatted the predator away like a fly. Of course, it is possible that the antelope is simply coping with stress, but its behavior is still pretty impressive. Such resilience from an herbivore deserves your like, doesn't it? Usually, predators pursue herbivores, but here, the zebra went against the norm. The hyena went on reconnaissance to study which zebras are in the herd. Are there weak individuals? Maybe a recently born foal? Or are there any wounded ones? Such hoofed animals will become targets for a future raid. However, even a lone hyena is capable of a bold attack if it feels confident. This predator doesn't use elegant tactics like suffocation, as lions do. The hyena will circle around the victim, swoop in, bite, and bounce back. And this continues until the prey loses strength, falls to the ground, exposing its throat to the fatal blow. The hyena's jaws are incredibly strong, and with accurate precision, the predator can even crush a zebra's leg. To prevent this, this entire herd begins to resist the enemy scout. The zebras drive the intruder away, pursue it, and push it back. They behave moderately aggressively, not accelerating for a swift attack, but showing readiness for a fight. Their goal is to demonstrate the strength and unity of the herd. Here, the striped herbivores are much more persistent. They practically taunt the hyena, leaving it no chance to escape, exerting maximum effort. The aggressive hoofed animals are much larger, and acting together, they won't give the lone hyena any chance of winning in a confrontation. And the zebras understand this. They relentlessly pursue the enemy, aiming not only to drive it out of the pasture, but to trample it into the ground. Which method to defend the interests of their kind do you find more effective? The maneuverable games of the first group or the aggressive onslaught of the second? Either way, the predator did not expect this. Instead of waiting for an attack, the enraged herbivore charges into battle first. It's supported by fellow zebras, forming a united front against the lone hyena. But the real star is the leading zebra, having a blast chasing the hyena as if it were a frightened, panicking puppy. The herbivore is approximately twice the size and weight. All that's left is to demonstrate that in terms of running speed, as well as aggression and cruelty, Zebras don't really yield to these cunning scavengers. It seems like the zebra is handling the situation right. It threatens to trample the opponent, break its ribs, spine, and limbs. And if the zebra catches the hyena with its flat but huge and robust teeth, the predator is in for an unforgettable experience. The zebra's bite may not be capable of piercing the enemy's skin like a lion's fangs, but these living clamps literally crush tendons, tear muscles, and damage bones, 
while the predator skin remains intact. No wonder the hyena is helpless against such pressure and fleas. It truly has nothing to counter this experienced adversary. Now it's a lesson learned for the predator. It's not advisable to mess with this herd, whether alone or in a group. If you think a zebra would lose to a hyena one-on-one, -on -one, then consider this. The angered herbivore not only drives the predator away, but genuinely tries to reach it with its teeth and hooves. And the zebra succeeds. It begins to trample the enemy, driving it into the grass with its powerful hooves. The dog decided to intimidate the sheep to make it easier to herd and control the flock. However, this herbivore turned out to be much bolder than its counterparts. While an ordinary sheep may not pose a serious threat, it's not a fearsome wolf in front of it, but rather a small dog. A couple of solid headbutts will teach the dog not to underestimate its hoofed charges. Despite the dog barking threateningly, showing its teeth, and pressing the sheep, it behaves surprisingly calmly, tracking every move of the opponent and preparing to deliver another precise strike. Whose skull is stronger? We know the answer, don't we? However, sometimes the bravery of ordinary domestic sheep and rams plays a cruel joke on them. Here, a ram decided to attack its neighbor, a cow. The heifer behaves very calmly and quietly, showing no aggression, so the audacious ram decided to enhance its authority in the herd at her expense. Or maybe it just wanted to pick a fight, thinking that he chose a good target. The ram was wrong. The cow indeed behaved non-aggressively. With her colossal advantage in mass and size, aggression wasn't necessary. She simply stood there, and at the crucial moment of the attack, she met the ram with her head. It turns out the cow's skull is no less robust than her opponent's. Due to her greater mass, the cow not only didn't fall, but didn't even move. The ram collided with her and roughly the same result as a small car crashing into a massive concrete wall at full speed. It was as if the cow brushed him aside. Moreover, the cow not only stunned her opponent, but also skillfully redirected his effort downward, making him kneel. Despite being an ordinary domestic herbivore, this cow has the heart of a warrior. This is not the only instance where a cow has to teach a brazen ram a lesson, thinking that its aggression can conquer the world. Here, a zebu, seven times larger, defects blow after blow from its curly adversary. It seems the ram is on the verge of panic due to its helplessness. If it could speak, it might say something like, buddy, sorry for the clash, but could maybe you step back a little bit? Just surrender to me. The sheep and the flock are watching, and I really don't want to lose my authority here. The cow actually steps back, and the ram proudly returns to its herd, as if it defeated a fearsome monster. This ram realized that trying to show off is easier than with someone of similar size. He chooses a pony as the target of his attack. The ram takes a run and crashes into the opponent's hindquarters. The pony is shocked, but the ram picked the wrong hoofed creature. The pony pounces in a way that forces the aggressor to retreat if he wants to keep his teeth, of course. However, the biggest mistake a sheep or ram can make is attacking a horse. These hoofed creatures won't tolerate aggression towards them. In case of an attack, they deal with the aggressor radically and efficiently often ensuring that the ram never attacks anyone ever again. This enraged horse showed that it's not to be messed with. It grabbed the aggressive ram and literally snapped its spine. People who witnessed the scene were in shock at the brutality of the stallion. The horse tosses the opponent around like a rag, lifting it higher than human height, slamming it to the ground, and grabbing it again with its teeth. 
horse jaws are incredibly powerful, as if their broad, flat teeth are designed not to cut, but to grind grass and other plants. Therefore, the stallion destroyed the opponent's spine without even tearing its skin. It's a clean, but quite brutal job, isn't it? This aggressive goat got lucky. The horse easily repelled its attack and delivered a powerful blow. The hoof could have crushed the goat's leg, broken several ribs, or even its neck. But due to the difference in size, the blow turned out to be glancing. It seems the goat didn't even realize just how lucky it really was. It's not advisable for representatives of its size category to mess with hoofed animals of the size of horses. Here, a dog showed an intrusive interest in the horse. Let's say, or maybe it was sympathy. In any case, the hoofed creature didn't like such behavior. And the horse expresses its refusal to continue the relationship in a very clear way. A devastating kick from the hind leg hits the center of the dog's torso. The large dog is as if blown away by a hurricane. It is sent flying backward out of frame. Most likely, the dog survived, but it will remember this encounter for quite a long time. The fighting qualities of horses are often underestimated. These animals have lived alongside humans for thousands of years. Horses have made a huge contribution to the development of agriculture, farming, even in warfare, and most importantly in transportation. They have been our loyal companions for so long that we've started to forget they deal with huge creatures with powerful hooves and mighty musculature. The weight of horses can exceed a ton, and their size is comparable to that of the largest wild buffaloes. Although the elegant horse seems much less massive and muscular, it possesses an impressive striking force. And the bite of its jaws can be fatal to many animals, even large predators. This relatively large dog also underestimated the horse. At first, the animals were just playing, but then the dog just got carried away. It perceived the herbivore as weaker, despite the clear size advantage. This was a big mistake. When the dog started bothering the hoofed creature, it didn't really realize who it was dealing with. The horse immediately showed the dog who was in charge when it grabbed it by the back with powerful jaws and literally slammed it into the ground. The horse delivered a colossal kick straight to the face of the huge dog. This is a Kangal, one of the strongest dog breeds there is. A pair of Kangals can fight a large wolf, and three of them can even defeat a bear. No wonder this dog considers the horse a simple opponent and is not going to tolerate such audacity. It growls menacingly and lunges at the horse with all its weight, making quite an intimidating impression. However, this hoofed creature should not have been underestimated. The horse shows the Kangal that it's better not to mess with it alone. Every time the dog lunges at the horse's throat, the herbivorous animal rears up and evades the attack. It seems like the dog's teeth almost touch the horse's skin, but the huge dog never managed to bite through the opponent's skin. Moreover, the hoofed creature skillfully deflects the enemy's attack with its legs, overpowering the Kangal due to its greater mass into delivering counter-strikes. The agile dog dodges the most dangerous kicks from the hooves, but the advantage in this duel is clearly not on the side of the wolf-like relative. Although the horse retreats as soon as the Kangal turns its back to it, the hoofed creature immediately resumes the attack. This happens every time the dog takes a step back. The horse bites the enemy's tail, causing the dog severe pain and potentially damaging its spine. The Kangal defends itself again and threatens the hoofed aggressor with its teeth. But as you can see, it's futile. The horse rears up, but is ready to continue the fight as soon as the dog relaxes a little bit. Horses are social animals. This helps them fend off predator attacks and successfully find areas with an ample supply of plant-based food and clean water. In the wild, these hoofs creatures are from large herds, numbering from a dozen to hundreds of individuals. 
Similar to wolf packs, horse herds have a similar system, their own form of hierarchy. However, there is a significant difference. The hierarchy among predators is always clear. There's an alpha, leading the family's life, like leading hunts in the case of wolves or protecting the pride for lions. The leader of the pack defends the clan against the encroachments of other predators. Young individuals during adolescence or outsiders may challenge the leader to contest their authority. If the leader prevails, their authority becomes absolute, even in the eyes of the opponent. Having learned a painful lesson, the predator attempting to seize power usually either retreats or settles for their destined place in the hierarchy. Therefore, a wolf alpha doesn't inflict serious harm on an ambitious young hunter who forgot their place. Although lion battles can be fierce, when the leader settles disputes with a brother or son and not with an outsider, it usually occurs without any serious injuries. For horses, the struggle for dominance has a more dynamic and ruthless aspect. If a stallion wants to challenge the leadership of the herd's alpha, it will be doing so repeatedly. It can be driven away, beaten, but as soon as the leader shows weakness or simply turns its back on the enemy, a new fight or a treacherous strike follows. The contender may immediately launch another attack once it recovers a bit, or pretend to no longer seek power and then strike the herd leader when they are unprepared. So if you thought internal conflicts among pack predators were less bloody than those among social herbivores, you were mistaken. Wild horse stallions often fight to the fatal end for one of the rivals. Experienced leaders may attempt to finish off a fallen opponent, and power contenders do everything to overthrow the leader, who led the entire herd, including the contenders themselves, to success just yesterday. Battles between two stallions look nothing like instances where horses defend themselves against predators. When fending off carnivores' attack, they simply aim to protect themselves and escape from the enemy. However, in the fight for leadership, horses go all in, engaging in brutal combat. Pay attention to their refined and intimidating fighting techniques. Horses utilize their entire arsenal, ramming each other, attempting to unbalance their opponent to throw them to the ground and to trample them. Additionally, they fight with their hooves, delivering severe and perilous blows, preferably targeting vulnerable and sensitive areas. The crucial aspect is that stallions employ their teeth. They fiercely bite not only to stun and overwhelm the opponent with pain, but with the intent to inflict fatal injuries. Apart from biting the opponent's spine, trying to scalp or tear the throat and mouth, they have another favored move. They often target the opponent's groin with their teeth. If successful, it can damage major blood vessels. In the wild, a stallion wouldn't survive such an attack. The young stallion is clearly in shock, not expecting the opponent to strike there. However, he didn't realize he was dealing with a dangerous and experienced combatant. Nevertheless, stallions usually successfully defend themselves against cunning attacks. As soon as the opponent leans to snap with their teeth in the sensitive area, the stallion senses this through the tail and delivers a fierce, stunning blow with its hind legs. These animals can pounce quite mercilessly. Which instance today where hoofed animals gave a tough resistance to their opponents impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see the coolest episodes from the world of nature.